Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so we got another update for the official one and only android 12.1 evolution x6.2.2 for the oneplus 6 the last video had created on the 20th of the march and its build date is 19th march 2022 you can check that in the right side card also so today i will discuss what has been fixed and what new thing has been added in the new update and its installation process Finally at the last of the video I will give you my final verdict about the ROM therefore watch the video till the end so without further ado let's get started on the new adventure So here installation got completed and booted the device. I have shown how to install the update you can check the timeline to directly jump to the installation part of the video. Phone booted to the beautiful and the unique boot animation of Evolution X ROM. You will get the update finishing notification in the status bar. After that, we will go to the about device. Here I want to say that all the things are the same like the last build. This update just bring the some bug fixing and the performance improvement only. As here we can see it's still Android 12.1. But the Evolution X ROM version has been upgraded to 6.2.2. We already got the latest security patch of March 2022 from the release of the beta update. Kernel version is 4.9.227 and it's builded using the latest Google LLVM toolchain to bring the more improvement. So all credit goes to the lead developer Anirim Bliss and the team bringing the fast updates and trying to fix the bugs so we can get the most stable build as early as possible. This is the latest build of 23rd March 2022. Let's check all the things like the performance and the bugs. Are they really fixed or not as compared to the last build? One thing I noticed that this build is really feels smoother and the fluid as compared to the last build. Apps opening and the RAM management is the damn good. In reality, it's a way better. Still, we'll do the some performance score testing using the Geekbench. So after running the Geekbench, I got the 503 for the single core and 2080 for the multi-core. Both results are similar to the last build test and close to the average results of the Geekbench for the OnePlus 6. So the performance wise this build is really awesome. Now one more test here I done is the CPU throttling test. CPU throttling means if you do the CPU intensity task, how much percentage of CPU throttle will affect the performance of the device. So I run the CPU throttle app for the 10 minutes. But after the 6 minutes CPU started the throttling because phone got warmer from the front screen and from the back panel near the camera. So here it's obvious CPU will throttle the performance. As per the result, CPU got 74% throttling after the 7 minutes of the test. Means only 26% of power was remained to run the task. Obviously we will feel the lag at this point. So ROM passed the test because it withstanded the intensive CPU throttle test till the 7 minutes. When I done the safety net check using the ASNAC, it still got failed because ROM comes with the permissive kernel so it is the same condition that we face in the last build. Devs will add the enforcing kernel when the stable loss sources will be available. One more bug of camera that we found last time is when you took the pictures using the Oxynos camera, it's getting forced clothes without saving the pictures in the gallery. At the first camera worked good but after some time the bug returned. It's still there but don't worry we have the Google camera MGC stable build and I can say that this camera is better than the Oxynos camera. It's taking the good pics and the videos and all features like the portrait 4K 60fps, night mode, slow motion and the time lapse are working good. Next is the volume panel ringer mode bug has been fixed in the update. Now you can set the vibration DND ring modes from the volume panel itself. Another bug that we got in the last update is the USB OTG not working. I tested it and it's still there, no detection of USB OTG in the ROM. One more thing I covered in the review video is the LED notification light. So in the last build this feature were working but it's only works for the battery low, full charge and the charging. But now it's blinking for the each notification but you can't able to set the different colors for the separate applications. So that is all about the update. So let's see the installation, you need the two files. ROM zip file and the final zip. Now remove the pins and the password from the security setting and boot your device into the TWRP using the advanced power menu or the volume button combo. Once the device booted to the TWRP, tap install and select the ROM zip file, then flash the final zip file, then tap advanced and install the current TWRP. Now reboot back to the TWRP. Now tap the wipe 
and select the format data. If format data fails, go to the TWRP setting and check mark the RMRF setting and then do the format data again. Once done, tap reboot to the system. So here I am coming from the other ROM. So I did the full format. So if you are doing this, keep the full backup of the ROM. But if you are already on the Evolution X ROM, then just do the dirty flash. Finally, I want to say that all the major bugs are same like the old build of the ROM, but underwood improvement are more as compared to the last build. Battery life is also good. I already tested 2-3 times, but the video is pending. But I got the 5-6 to six hours of battery with the full day uses, so it's pretty good. So go ahead and upgrade the ROM. You will not regret, but still I have humble request to the developers to fix the bugs of the safety net and the USB OTG because it is the must have feature for the lots of the users. So that's it guys. If you think I help you through this video, please like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.